with it being, you know, confirmed that Vegeta is a time traveler at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I was curious as to the um, the frame where, you know, the savior from heaven had shared his light with Vegeta so they could both hit that ah, Super yeah. Saiyan <laughs> and they both did a Kamehameha. I was curious as to if the Kamehameha was something, was a technique that was being shared or if time traveling Vegeta had, you know, seen so many gokus and stuff like that that he had already known the technique because that's something you know we've never seen vegeta do that before so that's why i was like okay hold on a second that yeah. threw me for a loop and i wanted to know what was up so a lot of people yeah including ryan i think know the uh the lore in journey to the west where that Son okay Goku that's... can he can share his power with people and his knowledge and it's not that in my version uh Vegeta knows what he knows from Goku because he learned it from Goku. That's what I thought! That's exactly what I was thinking! <laughs> so, Let's I know... Go. You know, like, how... Um, you know, your enemy can become your greatest teacher just by interacting with him, right? Oh He's my. fought Goku over and over again. He's learned his techniques. <laughs> he knows how he always works in and out. You know what gave it away for me? Because that's exactly what I thought it was. And then I saw Uchi's video with the Wukong thing. And I was like, damn, he might have really pulled that. So then I started, like, getting rid of my own thoughts. And I watched it again. And the, the thing that made me, like, second question. And I was like, no, it has to be that Vegeta already knew it. Is because yeah. when he got his, like, when he was getting, like, choked down on the ground by Broly. And, you know, Goku turned into the savior. Vegeta mm -hmm. smirked. I was like, oh, nah. He's seen it before. Yeah. He's seen him before. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <sighs> wait. So wait. So is there is is it possible that there's another Goku lingering around? Could it be? Oh no no no! Don't ask him! Don't ask him! Don't ask <laughs> him that! Don't ask him that! Okay, I'll give you an answer that I told my friend Richard once when he asked me when I was still making the film. He said, "Yo, you gotta show me something." He's like, "Can you at least tell me? Does Goku turn Super Saiyan in this movie?" And I said to him, "What I'm about to say to you now." is if you never ask me that question again, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> All right, so let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. this, dude, this is sick. I can't, so hold on, wait, 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 wait. So that means, that means that, okay, so that was also part of what I, what, cause I said so much. I've said, I've said a lot in you know, all these freaking theories, the, the videos that I've done so far. And one of the one of the ideas that I had was exactly what Kai brought up was that Vegeta has known Goku already, right? He has known him from a, from his own time, right? So then, does he also have some sort of like? Because because I I just did a video about this, where now Kakarot he 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 knew what was what was coming next, right? Mm -hmm. He knew what they had to do together, and they did, right? He helped him turn on his light again. And they do the Kamehameha. Beautiful. I was, I was done at that point, obviously. But then, I zoomed in on it. Vegeta literally does, like, a Gallic gun dragon fist. So I just, I need confirmation now because you told me the 31 was 31 years, not 3,100 freaking years, okay? <laughs> you told me that, right? I need to know because people are wondering as well. Is it like a Gallic Gun Dragon Fist? Like what exactly is that that he did to like really just do it in? It is a 100% Gallic Gun. And that's why it's purple. But the, the reason he doesn't, actually originally in my my screenplay i had him say gallic gun but <gasps> the, it doesn't it doesn't work with the scene so i just ripped it out so um yeah it's a gallic gun and it's a dragon because i like dragons it's dragon ball <laughs> but and how else is it gonna eat broly's fireball you know <laughs> that is sick that is Dude, so the awesome col the coloring on broly's blast was executed flawlessly <laughs> the color changing and everything like the, the, the oh, look you. in his eyes i was like oh my god thanks man it like was... a lot of this happens in stages right so when you storyboard it it looks a certain way when you animate it it looks a certain way and then right. when you start putting it all together compositing it you start like getting more ideas so like when he puts his hand out he starts screaming and the camera pulls into him i had this idea because I, I had the, the energy come to him i'm like you know what if i if i invert the colors that are within it i can make it actually look like what 
it looked like in the beginning, like in the, the first <laughs> film. It's not exactly the technique they use, but again, just lingering effects in my mind. So it just like adds to it and stuff like that. So that's, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's something that always stuck out to me with that character is the way he literally changes the whole color scheme of everything you yeah, see. Like yo. that's how I love when Broly does is. that. Yeah, yeah bro, it's, it's, it's amazing. Bro. If actually Broly's if you guys different. are looking at it like that, you should uh, look for faces in the film. So if you if you pause it during Super Saiyan transformations, you'll see like like these demonic faces. It's yes. Like oh yeah. Aplish, and like even when Vegeta pulls out his sword. It says murder on the screen. I did not peep face. that. Wow. I yeah, did not peep that. Go back and look that. at it frame by frame. It was like comma period on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep, you'll yep, see yep. he puts his hand up and he has, his mouth opens and it says murder beside his face. Because this is his last chance. Like he has to use the last of what he has as like a weapon. Like if he, you know, if he doesn't use it, like he's probably just going to get punched out. So he just kind of channels it into a sword, so which is something I'm, I'm surprised people noticed that it, I thought like actually after I come like when I scripted it out like it looked good and then when I animated it like things were working but then when I put it all together I thought like people just wouldn't notice it but like that he was actually it was coming from him and then going to his hand and they pulled it out but I think oh, everyone no. noticed it. Oh no it was clear. It that was, was clear. That was one of the yeah. first things I pointed out. I'm like dude this primal light we, it can be manifested into like yep. weapons. Like yeah. That can be conjured yeah. So so godlike. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs> <laughs>